Hello, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. I am Caroline from the Khan Academy Kids team, and I'm here today with my friend Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Caroline. Hi, friends. I am so excited to be with you today for Circle Time with Khan Academy Kids. How are you all feeling today? Mm, good question, Caroline. It's nice to ask our friends how they're feeling today. And I'm looking around the circle at our friends and some of our friends are feeling excited. And some of our friends, oh, our friends are feeling happy. And one of our friends is feeling a little bit frustrated because they would really like to go outside and another one of our friends is feeling very active like they have a lot of energy <gasps> well i am so excited to see all of you thank you for joining us we have a lot of splashy water fun today we have a story about some water and it's called that Won't Float by Cynthia Platt. One rainy day, Cody went to visit Sandy. We can't play outside, Sandy told Cody. What should we do? Let's play sink or float, Cody said. Friends, have any of you ever played sink or float? Some of our friends are nodding, Caroline. Hmm. Well, let's find out what the game is about. They found a large container and filled it with water. We need to be careful, Sandy exclaimed. We don't want to spill any. We're always careful, Cody replied. I'll try this ball first, said Cody. It's light, so I bet it'll float. I have chosen this rock, Sandy replied. It's heavy, so it'll probably sink. Mm -hmm. The ball bobbed to the top and the rock sank down. Our predictions were right, Cody said. I guess this wooden block will sink too, Sandy said. It feels heavy. When she put the block in though, it didn't sink. Instead, it bobbed on the surface like the ball did. My prediction wasn't right that time, she told Cody. Friends, do you know what a prediction is? Is it when you have an idea how something might turn out? A guess about what might happen is a prediction. Mm-hmm. So I think in this case, Sandy was predicting that the block would sink. My turn, I'll try this dinosaur, Cody said. That won't float, Sandy replied. It's too big. It won't float, Cody agreed, because it's going to... Cannonball, Cody exclaimed. Water splashed everywhere. Cody and Sandy were as wet as the dinosaur. Oh my, Sandy said, why'd you do that? because it's fun to get wet, Cody replied. You're right, Sandy agreed. Look, the sun has come out. How do you feel about going for a swim? Let's do it, Cody said. It turned out they both liked to cannonball too. What a fun, splashy story. It was actually a splashy story. <laughs> <laughs> so friends, should we try to play sink or float on circle time? Yeah, let's see if we can predict what might sink and what might float. Sounds good. Hold on for one second. I have to go get my bowl of water. <gasps> okay. All right, friends. Are you ready? Let's try a rock. See this rock? It's pretty, hmm, feels pretty heavy and dense. What do you think will happen? Oh, 
I just asked some of our friends and one of our friends says they have seen a rock sink into some water before. So I think it might sink. Okay, let's try it. Whoa. <laughs> it sank to the bottom. Can you see it's all the way, it's underneath. Oh yeah. It went down below the surface of the water and sank to the bottom of the bowl, friends, because it's quite heavy. That's right. And what about this boat? It's Ooh. actually a paper boat. We made it out of paper. What do you think? It's a boat, so there's maybe one clue. Well, uh, one of our friends is saying that boats usually float, so if it's a good boat, it should float. Okay, should we try it? Mm-hmm. Woo! Cool. That is cool. And just for fun, I brought a straw. I don't know what will happen if I blow some air at the boat. Should we try? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's kind of like wind. That's cool. Yeah, so why do you think some things sink and some things float? Ooh. I don't know, Caroline. Can you help us out, please? So I think things are made out of tiny, tiny molecules. So you can't see them unless you use a microscope that's kind of like this. So everything that we see is made out of a little tiny molecules. So if the molecules are very close together and they're very dense, like in this rock, it will sink because it's denser than the molecules in the water. Hmm. But a boat like this floats because the molecules are further apart. And I also think in this case, because it's spread out over some surface area that helps it float on the surface. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's try a few more. What about this egg? It's not a real egg. It's a little shaker egg. Hmm. Maybe it will float. Let's try. Ooh, it does float. Wow. And then, yeah, this other egg, it's hollow inside. So there's air inside. Oh, interesting. It floats right on top. The other egg has some shakers in it. So it's a little heavier. So it sinks halfway down and just has a little bit peeking out. And the egg that's full of air, which is very light, those molecules are extra spaced out, it's just bobbing along right on top. Exactly. Just like Sophie was saying, the air is very light. The molecules are spread apart. And this is a hollow egg. So there's nothing inside of it except for air. So that's why it floats. Oh, One more. I have this funny brush. What do you think? What's What's the prediction on this one? Ooh. I, I need to ask our friends. Well, one of our friends predicts that this brush will sink to the bottom, that it's too heavy to float. Let's try it. Oh! Oh, wow. Well, it's good that we had a guess and that we had a go. And it seems like actually the brush floats. It does. Mm. I said that was, that was the last one, but I have a very interesting one. What do you think will happen with bubbles? Should we try the bubbles? If I blow bubbles and they land on the water, what do you think will happen? Well, they're full of air, so they should float on top of the water, but I don't know. Ooh, can't even get it onto the water. Let's try again. Oh, a few little bubbles are floating on the water. Ooh, 
There, we got a big one. Wow, a big one. It looks like a dome. Yes. So that one has lots of air in it. It's floating on the water. Thank you, friends, for playing sink or float, just like Cody and Sandy. Should we do some show and tell now? Oh, yeah, I would love to do some show and tell. And if our friends, while you're doing the show and tell, if our friends ever want to see any of our other books and see what else Cody and Sandy and their friends are getting up to, they can probably download our app, Khan Academy Kids. That's right. We have lots of books in there. All right, let's do some show and tell. All right, Ari sent us a drawing of all those bath toys. I think those, what do you think, friends? Will those sink or float? Hmm. I think they might float. I think so too. One is, looks like a submarine and one looks like a dinosaur. Yeah, a very cool dinosaur with pink and orange. Mm -hmm. And a nice smile. Thank you, Ari. And Veda sent me their drawing of a dino and submarine. Wow, I think there's a theme here, isn't there? That's two dinosaurs we've seen and two submarines. Thank you, Veda. Thank you. And now we have Quillen who's going to show us how to surf in the ocean. He has practiced a lot and his surfboard floats on the top of the ocean. Hello, Quillen. Hi, Quillen. Hi, I'm Quillen. I'm going to teach you how to surf. First, you paddle out, and, and then when you see waves start paddling, then stand up, and then you can try to do tricks. But if you're a beginner and you've never surfed before, then you try, it's probably best for you to catch whitewash instead of waves. Or a wave. Okay, you ready to go surf? Let's go. Yep. showing us how to surf. That was a special video that you shared with us. And now to wrap it up, we have one more. Simi is going to show us how to carefully wash our hands, which is very important. Thanks so much for sending us this video. This is the way we wash our hands. So what do you do first, Timmy? You put on soap and wash it with water. Okay. And do like this, some a little to get the soap all of there. Because there might be. Now you have to rub the back with some more soap. You need to rub the back of your hands with more soap. Can you show them the butterfly? And now, pet the dog. And now you need a towel to dry it. I usually write it like this because I can't wait up there. Say bye to everybody. Bye guys, get about the surprise. What's more part meaners?
remember to wash your hands. Thank you, Simi, for showing us how to wash our hands. Wow, that was such a cool end. We had floating and sinking. We had lots of show and tells, drawing. We saw quill and surfing. And then we were reminded how important it is to wash our hands with soap and water. What a great water kind of day. It was. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us and we will see you all next time. Goodbye for now from Caroline, Sophie, and the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye-bye. Bye, friends.